Hello, 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 my friends. Welcome back. Stacy here, and I have an unboxing for y'all today. So it is super early in the morning, so by the time you see this, I'll be at work. But anywho, I have one of my faves, one of my international faves here, the Witch Box, straight from the UK. As you all know, that have been following me, they are the first international box that I have tried and I have been in love since the get-go. They are amazing and we're gonna get right into it. So this is exactly how your box is gonna come, just like this with their little logo right here. And then they have this cool little pull tab right here. Boop! And is that easy? And then we will see the contents inside and it says magical secrets lie within exclusively and hand-picked for the witch box brought to you by witch box uk Ooh, i'm loving all these postcards we've been getting super cute on the back it says the witch's chant no one knows the origins of this chant but it is widely used in wiccan paths sometimes the names will be changed to wiccan deities but other paths have adopted it too, so there are numerous versions. One version of the chant written by J.F.C. Fuller goes, Echo, Echo, Azarak, Echo, Echo, Zomalak. Zaru Kaz E, Zaru Ku. Zaru Gaz E, Guru Mu. Echo, Echo, Hu, Hu, Hu. An exclusive design by Ravenswood Manor for Witch Box. So that was that. And this was the little chant that I was just chanting for y'all. How cute is that? So, ooh, I got a black one this time that's silky, I like. Your September box. Welcome to your September box. This month's theme is Spellcraft. Conducting spells is an important and deeply personal part of the craft. This box has been curated by us to expand your knowledge and understanding of spellcraft tools and methods. Blessings. So super cute. And then inside here, we'll have all our goodies and we will go over this at the end. I do apologize. I am super shiny and red. I went tanning for the first time yesterday in like three months and I burnt. <laughs> I burnt my face off. All right. So first glance inside the box looks like this. All kinds of goodies for us. The first thing I see, it says Incense power mold. I'm not really sure. Oh, incense powder mold. Oh, so you can put your incense powder in these and then put them on your tray. And if you pack it right, you should get a little mold like this. That's what I'm guessing. But it came in three different sizes, as you can see. And I'm sure it will explain more in our pamphlet that we received. So we have a small, a medium, and a large. Cute little molds. That's cool because I was actually thinking about doing my own incense. So love that. Actually, I don't even know why I'm closing it all the way. And on top, I also see enchanted spell candles infused with herbs and a little magic to add love and light to your spells um i was gonna open this but it looks like some of the herbs take this off came in this cute little pouch and we just have three tea lights and they're all sparkly with herbs and some glitter. Super cute. This one has more herbs on it. And then the last one I'm gonna keep in there. But we received three of those, which is nice to add to my collection of tea lights, which is very low right now because I've been lighting them a lot underneath my wax melt. All right, and then Oh, I got that one. <laughs> fell out. I'm like, I know this is supposed to be something in here, but it fell out. So we received this stone. Mukite. 
Look how pretty. So different. You got that little red right there. Some stones vary. I do have another Mukai stone. It has a lot more red and like orange to it, but I do like this one too. It's, it's just different. So we received that. And we will re got our little card from the witch box. And it says Mukai, also known as Muk or Yolk Jasper. This colorful stone is known for its earthy hues, nurturing qualities, and ability to balance the emotions. It is therefore particularly good for stress, but can also help with confidence and to support inner harmony. Um, use to relieve stress by holding firmly in your hand during meditation or take with you when facing stressful situation. Or when you need more confidence and place in a pocket so you can rub your thumb lightly over it. Place on the third eye chakra will slaying flat to avoid to aid deeper insight into your true self or to reach a decision. So that's nice. My second piece of mukai. Love it. Oh, my nails are broken. Oh, I just found a lonely <laughs> tea, tea light on top of there. Then we, oh, you always receive a spell kit from them, which I love my little spell kits and it'll have everything you need for the ritual that they give you. So it looks like we received some cinnamon, some peppermint and a small piece of piece of quartz, clear quartz. So that's that. It's funny, my cinnamon stick smells like peppermint from the peppermint that it was with. And then we have this big bag of peppermint. Then we have a bag of rose petals. And then we have a cute little mesh bag, purple with moons and stars on it. And then we have our spell right here. And it is a spell for inner harmony on our cute little scroll. And it says the ingredients, which is what I just showed you. Plus you would need a white bat. I mean, a white candle, not a bag. Then it has your instructions on the back. And I will leave that here for a moment in case you want to screenshot and do this on your own. And I'll actually put the ingredients over here too. So you can also screenshot that if you would like to do that. So I'm going to put this all back. That's our little spell kit for some inner harmony. Then we have our scroll. I hope you all are doing well this week. I ain't gonna lie, it's been a rough week. I can't shake off this sadness I've been feeling and I received some, I don't wanna call it bad news, but new, news that made me very sad yesterday. I'm like, hmm, I wonder if this is what I was feeling, but I don't know. But anywho, I hope you all are doing good because ever since this blue moon, I don't know what has happened, but my energy, I had like two days of like wild energy where I was just like so much energy, so happy for no reason. And then it was just like, boom, depleted. And I'm just like, what's going on? So this weekend, I'm definitely doing some, <laughs> some goodie spell work. So we have a casting a magical circle. Um, so this is going to tell us how to cast the traditional circle. Step one, choose a sacred place. Step two, purify the space. Step three, mark the circle. Step four, call the quarters. Step five, invoke the divine. Step six, perform your work. And step seven, closing the circle. And it has all the steps right there for you in case you don't know how to cast a circle. Right there for you. I love these BOS pages. All right. Up next. Oh, I think I'm gonna save that for last. All right, I, oh, frankincense powder. We have some of that, and I'm sure that is for our um, incense molds that we received, so that's nice. Some, gr like, finely ground um, powder is, like, very fine. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know why none of my stuff is on the thing, but okay. I'm just gonna go like that and pretend you were there the whole time. So we got a coffin nail charm. 
I break any curse, I banish all harm. Let negativity leave with the power of this charm. And here's our big coffin nail and it has like a brass wire around it. But how cute is that? It has the witch box logo on the back. This is so soft, I love the feeling of this. And then, oh, two more things for this and then one more thing. I think. Yes. Okay. So then we have this hand printed book of shadows. It's super soft, guys. It like feels like everything else in here, like like a velvet, silky softness. Record enchantments, spells, and magical works in the stunning book of shadows journal printed by hand using recyclable materials and eco friendly paper. And I just like how it was wrapped with this cute little band. And we're actually gonna take this off. Actually, I'm just gonna slide it off so I can show you guys the book itself. Oh, this is beautiful. I love the feeling of it. I'm, I'm a hands-on person, but look at this. We have our pentagram in the middle protecting our spells and with this beautiful pattern all around it. Is that like the Celtic? I see this a lot. Um, and then inside we have our blank pages, nice and smooth. And then it has a little bookmark in here too for us to keep our page. So that is very nice. I like that a lot. And it goes with the theme of spell casting. And then last but not least, I'm not going to read you what this says, but I'm super freaking excited for this. Oh, guys, it's, it's, it's kind of heavy. It is kind of heavy. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I'm doing first peek this time, guys. Oh, it's wrapped in bubble wrap. Wrapped in bubble wrap. Oh, this is so nice. We received a natural crystal healing wand. If I can take the bubble wrap off of it, I'm going to show you. Instead of just popping all the bubbles. Come on, magical scissors. Come on. Oh, I just cut into it. Look at this. A magical healing wand. A nice selenite wand. Super cool. It looks like a big oversized pencil. It's like perfectly pencil point right here. But how cool is that? And they put like a little sticker on there. This light, sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. So let's go over all our magical things in our book. It says exclusive book of shadows, which was this. One of the most used tools by many witches is their book of shadows. Oh, I'm, I'm a Jackie. I think it means the actual book, Stacy, not the BOS page. <laughs> Let's redo that. Exclusive book of shadows. One of the most used tools by many witches is their Book of Shadows. A Book of Shadows in Witchcraft is a journal to record favorite spells, magical knowledge, traditions, and personal spiritual experiences. This journal designed by us has a recyclable vegan leather cover, recycled pages, and is hand debossed with elegant foil in Hertfordshire, UK. Hopefully I didn't um, butcher that too much. So it's vegan leather. That's why it's super soft. I love that. So then we have our exclusive natural crystal wand for healing, healing wand. The wand often associated with the element of air is commonly used in witchcraft to channel magical energy into one focused point. This wand is made from selenite, making it particularly powerful when conducting healing magic, cleansing your aura, or when looking for clarity, handle with care. I do love me some selenite, selenite and quartz. I always say you can never have enough of it. I don't know why I use it all the time. So that's just me. Everybody's different, but for me personally, I love it. 
Then we have our exclusive spell kit for Inner Harmony. This spell kit written and devised by our resident English witch contains everything you will need to encourage feeling of inner harmony. Remember the power of spell always lies within you. Focus your positive intentions to harmonize the energies in your life. And then we have the Witch's Incense Powder Mold Set, which was those three things I showed you right in the beginning. This set comes with three different sizes for you to create your own incense cones. Incense is one of the most used items in spellcraft as it has the power to cleanse your tools and magical spaces with its smoke. The burning of the incense can also help focus your mind, thin the veil between worlds, and act as a protective force. So there's that. And then we have exclusive enchanted spell candles. Which I did not, oh, I did receive them, don't mind me. Right here, Stacy. Oh, and you know what? This is our white candle for the spell kit. There we go. <laughs> so we have our exclusive enchanted spell candles. This month we have created three enchanted spell candles for you to use in the, your craft. These white candles contain a mix of magical botanicals to increase the power of any spell. Place on a heat proof surface and follow all fire safety regulations when burning. Then we have our exclusive art card, which it really is so pretty. So I'm gonna go with my other kitty one that we got with the moon. I love that one. So this says, this beautiful art card has been designed by British artist, artist Millie Hardy Sims. Display in your home or on your altar. On the reverse, you will find a version of the Echo Echo chant, also known as the Witch's Chant. Then we have our exclusive BOS page, Casting a Traditional Circle. This parchment style BOS page has been written by a resident English witch and covers one of the methods used to cast a magical circle. There are many reasons that witches choose to perform magic inside a circle, such as the protection it provides or the energy it allows one to raise. I do it for protection. And I do find that the energy is way more when I do cast one versus when I'm doing like little kitchen witch magic where I sometimes I don't, I'll be honest. Then we have our exclusive coffin nail charm. These black iron nails are not taken from an actual coffin as nails are no longer used in coffin making, but they are still magically potent as symbols. They are traditionally long with a point and have a rose head. Um, a nail can be added to a spell to give it extra potency. These nails are particularly useful for inscribing candles for spell work. Just take the candle you are planning to use and carve symbols or words into it before burning, thus adding your intentions into the spell. So it'll be nice if you use, if you put in like runes and stuff or just writing on your candles like they say. So that's pretty cool. I do like that. It's a huge, huge nail. Exclusive frankincense incense powder for spellcraft. To make your incense cones, we have included frankincense powder. The burning off frankincense can allow you to declutter your mind and spiritual space. If you feel stuck in your craft or spell work, this incense can allow you to release the energy holding you back. And then we have our mukite with the exclusive card, information card. And I won't go over that again because I already read that to you. And it says exclusive items are unique to Witchbox and can't be found anywhere else. These special items have either been made by us or designed by us, especially for you to enjoy. And then it tells you how to use your September Witchbox. Um, gives you a little thing about the Book of Shadows, how to make your own incense cones. So you would need three teaspoons of frankincense powder, one teaspoon incense base powder available from online retailers, some distilled water and your mold. And then it tells you the method on how to make it. And I will leave that right there. I don't know if you guys will be able to read it because it's kind of hard to read um, this color on the black, but I do like it. Then it has something for Maven. And the witch's calendar, September is the month of Maven. Maven marks the autumn equinox and is one of the harvest Sabbaths of the year. This Sabbath can be celebrated with bonfires, apple picking, or a celebratory feast with your family and friends is what I'm doing. Um, Maven can also be marked by creating an altar, which I did. Use the items in this box, such as Mukite and your spell candles, to decorate your altar as they contain the colors of Maven. Along with these items, you may wish to use apples, pine cones, sunflowers, and pumpkins to bring the magic of this equinox to your space. Wands. Wands are an interesting topic within witchcraft. 
It is unlikely you will, ha you will have seen a witch depicted in the media without one, but those depictions are often inaccurate, showing the power being created by the wand and not the practitioner. Wands are a commanding tool that allow witches to focus their power and intentions. The use of a wand can be dated back to the 9th century where they were part of sacred rituals. The use became even more prominent in the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries with known wizards and witches of the day being seen with them. You can use your crystal wand to cast a circle, draw symbols, highlight your chakras, or amplify intentions. So it always gives you like a bunch of information in here. Then it says a note for witchcraft rich craft adepts this month your box contains a coffin nail these nails have strong protection qualities and can be added to a spell to give it extra potency to use carry them in the pocket or purse to ward off evil intent to protect your home dress a nail with ritual oil and nail it into your doorpost or threshold step i am probably going to do that upcoming dates 21st of september to the 29th of september we celebrate maven which the 21st was my MFG, no, MFYG's B-Day. I was like, wait, I'm missing a letter. My MFYG's birthday was um, yesterday, and we're going to celebrate this weekend with the feast that I'm going to cook. So I'm excited about that. The 29th, we have the supermoon. And then the 14th of October is the solar eclipse. So that was September's Witch Box unboxing. I loved everything. I don't think I have ever been disappointed with the Witch Box. They always stick to their theme. They always have a great theme and they always give high quality products, I feel. That is my opinion. Um, this is beautiful. And it's funny because I know a lot of you are like, I have so many journals, but I'm weird with my BOSs. Like I have, a BOS for certain things like I'll write recipes in one that I want to pass down to my daughter um then I have my spell one then I have my dream one you know like I have different ones and then I actually wanted one where I write down what I do for each sabbat so like I can tweak whatever rituals or spells I use during those sabbats or um whatever foods I make stuff like that so I personally love getting journals because to me, I can never have enough because I like, I'm very, I'm a very organized, unorganized person, if that makes any sense. But anywho, that is just me. I love the selenite wand. I love the feeling of it. Like, I wish I have to work today because there's so many things I'd rather be doing at home. I have a lot of organizing, actually, I need to do with my herbs and whatnot. But anywho, I would love to know what you guys thought about this month's witch box. Um, I don't know what time it is, but... I have enough time I might make one more video and upload them while I'm at work <laughs> I'm really working I promise um but yeah let me know what you guys thought about this box I loved it I can't wait to use all the things and I can't wait to talk to you guys soon all right until next time peace and love bye